Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back to another episode on Keeping It Real with Credit live session. And um, I know the, the live sessions are throwing you off a little bit, but before we get into that, let's kick off on the intro. Um, welcome. Welcome, everybody, to Keeping It Real with Credit Live. I'm your host, Ray, from Keeping It Real with Credit. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because on this channel, we talk anything and everything regarding credit, personal finance, tips and tricks on real estate. You name it, you're definitely going to find it here. Um, so those are you guys tuning in. Welcome, welcome. Um, I know today is Monday, but given to the fact that uh, the New Year's is coming, right, two days away from 2020, um, definitely some good news to go ahead and introduce you guys to. And I want to go ahead and highly encourage you guys to go ahead and think about um, financial, personal finance stru structuring or restructuring, if you will, right? Getting into the details and getting more knowledge into your toolbox is going to allow you to make better moves, maybe make better decisions for yourself and your family coming here in this new year. So with that being said, we're throwing off a huge, big special uh, for the next two days to go ahead and uh, get you guys introduced to this world of credit or to start getting your credit fixed today, today, so that we can go ahead and start the new years. And what's up, Juan? What's up, man? How you doing? Thank you very much for the love. So uh, without further ado, um, again, as I always mention, I always like to push out this free credit evaluation. I can't stress enough how important, how valuable this is. Um, and it's free. It's absolutely free. And uh, there is no obligation to go ahead and do business with us. This is just simply information. But yes, there is an option that if you do choose to hire us for your credit restoration needs to get you kickstarted right away, that's something that we definitely do. So just to pop things off, because I don't feel that um, I've maybe mentioned enough information of it before, right? Obviously, this channel, the brand is called Keeping It Real with Credit, right? And again, a channel dedicated to promote to promote the um, financial, personal financial uh, knowledge, education, and especially when it comes to the consumer credit side. Now, um, me and my team, we've created this company called Score Shield Financial right here. And I showed it last time, Score Shield Financial Group. We're a full service credit restoration company specializing in just that credit restoration needs. And yes, it is a company, a part of keeping it real with credit. So definitely something um, that we can help you out. We are of the same. Um, with that being said, guys, if you guys want to call at any time for a free credit evaluation or have any, cr any questions at all whatsoever, please go ahead and hit us up now at 1-888-424-0058. Again, that's 888-424-0058, option number one. How to Build Credit TV. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, welcome. Welcome to the channel. With that being said, guys, the evaluation, let me go, let me go to what is included within the evaluation. The evaluation is going to go ahead and include um, a credit analyst, one of our, my guys here standing by right now as we speak. And what they're going to go ahead and do is they're going to go ahead and dissect your credit report, right? They're going to go ahead and identify those items that are negatively impacting your credit score. Then explain to you what it is that we do as a company or what we're able to do with your credit and some sort of estimated projections as to where your credit score can be tailored around what it is that you want, whether it's to get a home, whether it's to buy a car, a boat, maybe get a loan, or just improve your credit overall because you never know when you're going to need it. So definitely, it's definitely something to look into. Two ways you could go ahead and call us right now at 1-888-424-0058. Uh, Still getting used to the new number. Again, that's 888-424-0058, option number one, or you can click on the link in the description below, get a text message from me, and I'll go ahead and shoot you over some links and emails that you're going to need to go ahead and prep for this evaluation. Super simple. Uh, there's no, no brainer to it. Now, um, without further ado, let's go into some results, right? Because like I promised you guys, we have a ton of clients and every day we're doing some great things for a bunch of people, um, which is great. And it makes me so happy because it really is... Um, I really sleep uh, very good at night knowing that we're helping people get that much more closer. Um, are we in CAOC? Um, we are in Miami, Florida, but we service nationwide. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how you're going to be included, right? Because our program allows you to have an online portal where you get to have access to and see exactly what my processing team in here, by the way, is doing for you on your behalf. 
So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over some client results because these are some of the results that you're going to go ahead um, that we send you to keep you up to date, right? We don't just uh, take your money, provide the service here for you, and then don't keep you up to date. We really tailor everything um, Barney style, if you will, so you understand why your credit score went up or down or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm seeing here Lady Trucker 43 is asking, um, how much is it? Guys, like I've explained before, and that's okay. You can feel free to ask at any time. Um, uh, pricing is based on the amount of negative items that you have. That is also the purpose of the free evaluation, to identify that. And at the end of the day, you take home a full analysis, whether you do business with us or not. At least you know you have an idea of what options you have. So I can't obviously charge somebody the same as somebody that has one negative item as opposed to somebody that has 25 negative items, right? There's obviously a lot more work to be done on the other. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and uh, go from here. So uh, clients results right here. So we have clients, um, this, this individual got accounts. We was able to reverse negative items um, from a negative to a positive payment, right? Um, and so that's a huge impact, right? Because like I've mentioned before, 35% of your credit score has to do with payment history right? So if you had a perfect credit score of an 850 and you let one account fall off into collections, your score can potentially drop up to hundred points, if not even more, right? So uh, with that being said, let me go over some of the accounts. So on Experian, his score went up 35 points. On uh, Equifax up to date, his score went up uh, 45 points. And uh, on TransUnion, it went up 36 points. And uh, accounts got updated to two. So um, two accounts, as you see on here, um, this was a JCPenney account that went from late payments reported to positive payments reported. So this individual, when they check their credit report, it, it's going to show that they have no credit, no um, late payments at all, specifically um, geared towards that JCPenney account. All right. Um, so that, that one's that. That's a huge increase there. Obviously, this is an individual that after, this is after one month, right, in the program. Obviously, we still need more work to do. Uh, but other than that, that's something that we're focused on here. Now, for this for the other individual, we have seven deleted. Um, yep, we have seven deleted right here, as you see here. And again, guys, these are results that you get as part of our clients every month to keep you up to date as to what's going on, right? And so with that being said, um, 635, an uh, increase of 74 points on Experian, um, an increase of 117 points on Equifax, uh, rated at a 687, and an increase of 103 points on TransUnion, making it a 674. Um, and so Capital One, they were negative with Capital One or delinquent with them, that got deleted, Right. Um, also a JP Morgan and obviously guys, these are account numbers for, so for security reasons, I'm just kind of teaching you guys, um, that I get a lot of questions regarding what types of accounts can get deleted. Can this get deleted or can it really not? Anything that appears on a credit report can be uh, removed or corrected because it's subject to the fair credit reporting act. Right. Uh, so something to keep in mind there. So capital one, as you see here, deleted, um, JP Morgan chase here. Um, it's annotated here as deleted AT&T Uverse for you guys that I know a bunch of people. I know I used to have um, Comcast back in the days um, that I fell off into collections, but AT&T Uverse got uh, collections, got removed off of three accounts. Um, Sprint um, got removed off of Experian on here. Uh, so obviously this is the result of a huge increase of over 70 to 100 points when it comes to uh, off on there. All right, guys. So um, let me go ahead and touch base to some of these questions are here. Dimitri, I made an agreement to remove four collections charge off after I paid them off. Um, they agreed to settle for half the amount. It's been three weeks, still shows on my credit. Absolutely. That's why it still shows on your credit, right? So if you're going to negotiate some sort of payment for delete or whatever the case may be, you need to make sure to get that in writing. And once you get that in writing, then you can go ahead and execute and then you can hold them accountable. But when you pay defaulted accounts on your credit report, that doesn't remove them. It will remain on there as paid or paid for less than full amount. But remember, guys, the, for, the FICO formula of today, what the banks are using today to approve you for lines of credits, either for your home, car, whatever the case may be, 
are still calculating um, uh, paid collections or charge off, right, as negatively impacting your score. And even when, if you were to catch up with that account, the missed payments that you have of months previously that are still on there as a 30, 60, or 90 day late are still affecting your score. 35% of your score has to do with payment history. So it's working against you, right? And so sometimes before we go in, we have to really understand and analyze one, what FICO scoring systems that we're doing. We have to tailor our habits to the FICO formulas of today to then tailor our strategy if we're looking to improve our credit for the purposes of, again, getting a home, a car, a loan, opening up a business, you name it, is definitely crucial to understand that. And this is what we teach here at ScoreShield Financial, along with the free credit evaluation. You will leave here with a better knowledge of what to do next, whether you do business with us or not. All right. Um, now, last but not least, we want to go ahead. And uh, again, I want to go ahead and take um, um, uh, all of your questions uh, as much as I can. Uh, but this one is a pretty, pretty heavy one, right? Because this one has, check this out, guys, 21 items deleted, 21 items deleted in two months. In two months, round number two, we got 21 items deleted. Um, so let me go ahead and touch base because this one is a pretty lengthy one. Um, Walmart, for those of you guys that were wondering if Walmart, CYNC, um, CYNCB Walmart can be deleted. Shows it right here. We was able to, excuse me, delete it as a dispute. Um, we also have Jefferson Capital Systems deleted. Health Carol Network um, of South, uh, yep, of Southwest deleted. Um, so this is a medical bill. So before I move on to the other deleted ones, medical bills, we, re we remove medical bills all day. Um, it obviously depends on the details within the accounts, right? Um, but we remove all day. Why? Because when you dispute items, you're asking for proof or validation. And because HIPAA laws protect our medical records, they're going to be very limited, to the amount of information they can provide as validation, right? And so we use that to our advantage to get those accounts removed from our credit report, right? Um, so with that being said, before I move on again, if you want to take advantage of the free credit evaluation, the link is in the description below, or you can go ahead and give us a call right now. So you can have a, an analyst go ahead and give you a call. Um, that's again, that's 1-888-424-0058. Again, that's 888-424-0058. 0058 option number one. Um, I promise, guys, I'm not going to be using this paper too long. Um, I'm going to find other ways to go ahead and present this to you, but I want to make sure that you guys have it um, on there. So, again, healthcare network, again, deleted. T Mobile, deleted, right? T Mobile accounts, uh, deleted. Again, Verizon Wireless, this individual had, again, deleted. Um, Santander Consumer, Repossession, Santander, everybody knows Santander when it comes to the car industry. Again, deleted from the credit report. Um, Care Credit, for, for those of you guys that don't know, Care Credit is a credit card or a line of credit that you get uh, used for uh, medical expenses. And I think that each actually extends over to um, veterinarian expenses or whatnot. And again, this account was also uh, deleted. Midland Credit Management. Um, everybody knows them. They're a huge collection agency um, in the nation. Um, this one got deleted. Um, again, Walmart comes out here again, Santander once again, um, and it's pretty much um, all represented right here. So this client got these results over here in the matter of two rounds or two months. And keep in mind, guys, um, there's something that's called, again, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. And the Fair Credit Reporting Act states that if something's unverifiable, inaccurate, or incomplete, it must be corrected or removed. So if they cannot provide or respond back with the required documentation or prove, proof that is required to be able to report on a credit report, then that item needs to get removed, absolutely removed, right? So it's something that, that, that happens. So if an item gets removed, you can rest assured, rest assured that that item was considered unverifiable, inaccurate, or incomplete, right? So something to keep in mind. So let me go ahead and catch up with some of the, with the, the questions on here. How to build credit TV, smash thumbs up. Um, have over 30 people watching. Thank you guys, now 40. Uh, please go ahead and uh, share with family and friends because I really 
um, it's really important for me to get this information out here to you guys. Um, and again, guys, we're running an end of the year special. Um, the end of the year special really is tailored around um, um, the negative items you have. So please, 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 um, we have the criteria here in base. Go ahead and call us now, 1-888-424-0058. Um, Margaret Quinn, how about mod, um, modeling release contact? Because if we uh, partnership, I want to know where you place ads. Thanks. Margaret, um, what are you what are you referring to as far as um, um, model releases or partnerships? Um, not sure what you're referring to there. Feel free to get in touch with me uh, for more details. ENC print code for anyone deleted. Do the, do they show as late paid or or for less? No, they just don't show at all from a credit report at all whatsoever. Uh, but if you're referring to um, more detailed would be on an older credit report on there. But if this person checks their credit report now, these items will not be reporting on there at all whatsoever. So it's like if this person never had it at all. Um, Israel Tindall, how you doing, man? Walmart credit card is now under the control of Capital One now. Um, awesome. Thanks for that update and, for, and, and information. In this case, however... Um, this individual had the Walmart card under this bank, the one I mentioned before, which was CYNCB. Uh, Margaret Quinn, that's that's got to be global as international fraud going on, and it's way beyond the eclipse. Um, once again, Margaret, not sure what you're referring to, um, but I'll be more than happy to answer any questions regarding credit or personal finance or little tips and tricks on there. Um, Yadi Stahl, please help. I got a summons. Um, to pay for some for something I never did. So, um, Yadi, I would suggest we'll be more than happy to take a look at your credit report. But if you did get a summons or you're requested to show up in court, obviously you would have to go ahead and consult with a consumer attorney regarding that specific case. But if there's anything else regarding on your credit report, we'll be more than happy to help and give you that free credit evaluation. JB, is increasing credit limit a good thing? Absolutely. If you guys increase your credit limit, um, you're tapping into the second biggest factor that makes up your credit score. That's the availability of credit, right? Um, and it also, um, depending on the balance you have on there or not, you're, you're, um, you're, you're bettering, uh, I guess you would say, your debt to income, right? But again, the 30% threshold that I'm always pushing out there, right? Never use more than 30% of your credit limit. Whatever the limit is, divide by three and never pass that. If you feel like you need to use more than that, request a credit limit increase within reason. Make sure your credit cards are always paid. You don't have any late payments. You don't have a crazy big balance. Make sure your credit score is, is pretty decent, right? These are all things that we can go ahead and help you and guide you with as we got the guidelines over here um, in-house. So again, guys, before I move on to some more questions, option number one. Um, all right, guys. So Frank Herrera, if I pay all my credit cards and close them, can I still use my credit to buy a house? Um, that's going to be tricky. If you pay your credit cards and you close them, your score will drop probably to a level where you may not qualify for a credit score. If I were you, Frank, um, I will pay off my credit cards and then not use them because, again, you have decreased um, the amount that you owe. Right. And then now you're back to your availability of credit. Right. So you've increased that and that in itself should increase your credit score. Right. So something to go ahead and keep in mind. Do not close your credit cards. I made a video about this um, not so long ago. And it's definitely something to, to 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 consider. Right. Phil Rivera, can you fix fraud? Someone open accounts under under your Social Security. Can you fix that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, again, when you send off a dispute letter, what you're doing is that you're asking for validation, for request, right? Even if the social security numbers match, we can provide additional documents showing that it really wasn't you, or it just makes it that much more difficult for them to go ahead and prove that, right? How about the ID? What address do you use? Does it match your address where you're living at now? Does it match the ID that you currently have now, right? All these factors play a part Obviously, do the account numbers match? Um, um, do the account histories match? Are the payments truly coming out from your pay from your, your bank account? All these things 
um, are, are pretty much um, looked at, right? When it comes to the investigation, and we make go and we make sure of that, right? And if they can't provide that within a reasonable time frame, then that account has to be removed from your credit report. All right, um, ENC print code. So we call the number, and you will tell us all the info you find and what you can do. Absolutely. So you can call the number. And uh, let me go ahead and guide you, right? Whether you click the link or you call us here now and have a credit analyst go ahead and speak to you. Again, that number is 1-888-424-0058. Um, once you call one of our credit analysts, um, you we will need a copy of your credit report. And so there's a few ways to do that. Uh, but typically is that we encourage you to go ahead and sign up for credit monitoring. Um, and that's gonna give us access, access to three scores and three reports. We need to see the full picture, right, to find out what we can do because a lot of the times one credit bureau reports one thing that isn't with an uh, that doesn't match with the other on the very same account, and that's a huge indicator that the probabilities of that account being removed is greater, right? Because there's an inaccuracy in the way that the credit bureaus are receiving or reporting the information. We can leverage that very thing to get that, these accounts removed. But again, the devil's in the details, which is why we have to go ahead and do the evaluation. Once we do the evaluation, we identify our system, identifies and creates this analysis. And it pinpoints exactly how many negative items you have. Um, we talk about it with you. We let you know what we can actually do. And at the same time, look, our track record here as we speak is that out of every 10 items, we're removing seven. Out of every, we're, and we're always getting better. As a matter of fact, every week we discuss um, different obstacles that we might have faced um, when it came to disputing our strategies, and we consult with some of the with some of the attorneys um, that if they have time to go ahead and make sure that we're up to date, that we are in compliance, and if there's any new different strategies or anything that's changed within the law, we do our due diligence to go ahead and speak to the right people to make sure that we're getting the best possible results four people. All right. And then um, we let you know more or less time frame, right? An estimated time frame based on what we're seeing on here. And unlike other companies, we dispute all items all at once on a month to month basis. So if you have 30 negative items across three credit bureaus, then we will dispute all 30 negative items. And the way that you're going to know it is that as soon as we print your letters, you get a notification stating that your letters have been printed and these are the accounts that are on the way to be investigated or disputes. Unlike other companies that out of 30, they're only disputing five or 10 at a time, we're trying to get you in and out of the program as fast as possible. We have found out that that has um, rendered a lot of um, a benefit to word of mouth. We understand how important getting your next home or car as soon as possible is for you. Um, and we and this has resulted in getting results uh, faster than 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 most most companies out there will. And we send everything by certified mail with tracking numbers, so we can provide all documentation and proof of the work that we're doing. And every letter is tailored based on the amount of negative items that you have and the types of negative accounts and items that you have, because our in-house processing team are the ones that builds the strategy and really analyzes communicates and updates the portal and sends you things like this, right? To make sure that you're up to date and to speed as to what's going on, where's your money going to at all times, right? Um, and so uh, let me see, Malcow001 is asking, I'm not interested in my credit score. Can you remove derogatory credit? Yes, there's a derogatory item, whether you have a late payment, charge off, collections, student loans, bankruptcies, child support, uh, tax liens, which shouldn't be on there. Um, you name it, anything on a credit report is subject to be removed. Again, but the devil's in the details. That's the whole purpose of the free valuation in here to get a better idea of what we have to work with. Excuse me. And two things happen. Either you can hire us and we start right away on your credit and you see results in as little as every 30 days you will get results. Every 30 days, you're going to get results. And so, and, and we're pretty good at what we do. We're pretty creative and into what we do. And we go ahead and generate some great results for a lot of people out here, um, as you can see on here. And you're going to be able to see every week as we continue these lives 
um, for everybody, right? So my mission is, is that as soon as we get results, whether they're good or bad, highs and lows, we want to go ahead and present them to you. And I want to go ahead and discuss them with you because the very, a lot of people have the same accounts, right? And they're wondering why one account got removed and not the other. Um, let me tell you something. I mean, a lot of clients on here and, and I can understand, um, but it's important that you guys understand that we have a plan of attack here for any type of result, right? Whether it's unverified, verified, um, or deleted, obviously, which is the ultimate goal here. Um, but when something comes back verified, right? A lot of you guys, when you're doing it on your own or maybe some other companies give up, they give up when they get results and they see something that says verified, right? Um, and, 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 and in a nutshell, that, that doesn't mean anything. That's great news, right? Because why is it great news? Because we understand how the credit bureaus are receiving this information and how truly they are verifying this information. And the amount of information that they considered as verified truly isn't enough. Right? When you send off these dispute letters, it gets scanned through the eOscar system, generates this code where it assumes what it is that you're asking for. Then one computer asks the furnisher, well, can you validate this account? And all they're going to go ahead and ask for, as long as the, the name, date of birth, um, address, or last four full social matches, then they consider it as a verified account, right? And obviously, because we know we're not going to buy into that, so we send, send up a follow-up letter asking, well, how did you verify the account? What company did you use? What is the point of contact that you used? What documentation did you use? And if so, please send me that information and copies of the information that you used to verify. And if in 15 days of receiving this letter, you did not, um, you can't provide that information, then the account has to be removed. So don't get discouraged that if in the first month um, you didn't get the results right away that you didn't expect because they will come. Look at this individual in round number two, which is month number two. They got 21 items removed, right? Just so you could get an idea, 21 items removed after the fact because we take the first results, we see what we got, and then we, we again, we have a plan for everything. Very rarely, if any, do we get stuck at all whatsoever. It's still to this day, knock on wood, we haven't been in a position where we don't know what to do or we cannot think outside the box, guys. Been doing this for a pretty long time, and I think I've seen every single scenario. Right? The key is to get very um, um, creative, not give up. Um, and again, guys, it's up to you. Would you rather wait seven years till something gets off of your credit report and falls off because that's when it's supposed to fall off, anyways? Mind you, I've seen accounts from 1996 on there still, and they still haven't came off, impacting the person's credit score negatively. Right, something to keep in mind, but again, guys, get an get at least an idea. Again, there's no obligation to you. Get at least an idea of what options you truly have with your credit report, what options you truly have with your credit score, and get a better idea of what 2020 can look like here for you. Um, and again, guys, take advantage of the free credit evaluations with us um, at Score Shield Financial. Um, yes, it's part of keeping it real with credit. So when you call, call on here, you're calling the right people and schedule your free credit evaluation. You're going to take away. We're going to send you by email unless you come here in person. But if you come here by email, we're going to send you a full detailed analysis where you can not only learn more about credit, um, but it has a detailed explanation of what the negatives and positives are of your credit. And it's something that you could take away and study. And either do it yourself, um, just have it as uh, more inf information for you, or you could go ahead and hire us for that. And we'll be more than happy to do so. Guys, I'll tell you this much, man. Um, I have, and thanks to, to all of you guys and, and the love and support, I have over 226,000 followers. My reputation precedes me. I will not do something or tell you I could do something that is not possible. My job here is to be completely transparent and honest with you guys as to what's actually possible or not. I'm not going to be out here selling um, some, some shady business, some shady operation, and I have this much eyeballs on me. Trust me, I'm very, very transparent. I'm very real. Even if it's something you don't want to hear, I will tell you 
right away. And I'm not here to take nobody's money. With that being said, guys, take advantage of the free credit evaluation. Get at least a knowledge of some sort of insight as to what you can truly do on your credit. Don't guess with your credit because you're just missing out on time or opportunities that can truly take you to the next level. So again, guys, with that being said, click the link in the description below to schedule your evaluation or go ahead and call us now at 1-888-424-0058. Again, that's 1-888-424-0058, option number one. And with that being said, guys, that's my 30 minutes. It's been real with you guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And on to the next episode on Keeping It Real with Credit, peace. Call, ask for me, definitely go ahead and help you guys out. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot for the support.